How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at three ways to remove items from an array in JavaScript. Now, all of these three techniques have their own benefits, their own situations where you should use them. I'm going to be briefly covering that as well as we go along. But also, you can decide on how you want to remove those items. Is it going to be by index or maybe you want to provide a condition or maybe you just want to remove the first item or the last item in an array. So starting off with the simplest way to go about doing this by index, we've got this array of names here, Dom, Johnny, Amy and Sam. And let's say I want to remove the item at index 2 or in this case, the value of Amy. So I can say names.splice. Okay, I covered the splice method a couple of videos ago, maybe last week, but this here allows you to provide an index. Then you can decide to delete items at that index. So I'll say here index two, of course, zero, one, and two for that value there. Then I'll say here as a second argument, one. So the second argument is a count of how many items to delete. Of course, one means let's delete the item at index two. I can say console.log, the names array, and we can see here that yes, we do in fact have that value now gone, and we only get Dom, Johnny, and Sam, okay? Now you can also provide negative indexes as part of the splice method, so you could say negative one instead to target the last index of the array. We'll try it again and we get, of course, Dom, Johnny, Amy and Sam has been deleted, okay? Now, what if you want to, for example, instead of saying I want to delete at this index, instead saying I want to delete the item with the value of Johnny as an example. Well, for this, you need to get the index of the item at which you want to delete if using the splice method. So to do that, you could say, for example, const index to delete equal to names dot. Now you could use index of here and pass in Johnny. This is going to work, but I'm going to be showing you find index because find index is more advanced in that you can provide a function. So let's say find index and then grab onto the name. Then we're going to say name is equal to Johnny. Okay, this, this function inside here is going to run for every item in your array as soon as it finds one where this condition is true, it's going to return that index. So now we can say index to delete and provide that as your index, run the script again and we can see we do still get Johnny removed from the array there. Okay. Now, also worth mentioning before moving on to the second technique that this here is going to be a mutating method. So you can see that by calling splice, it's modifying the existing array. There is no new updated array being created. We've only gone and deleted that item from the existing array. This is good for vanilla JS applications for the most part, but if using a framework like React, you might find yourself in trouble doing this and instead you may want to create a new array. That way you can update your state. Okay, so let's have a look at this now. If I was to get rid of all this code here, we're going to say const updated names is equal to. So we can see here that immediately it's different because we're making a new variable to hold the updated array because this one is going to be a non-mutating technique. We're going to say names.filter and here the thinking is going to be a little bit different because we need to say, look, what items do we want to keep as opposed to what item do we need to remove? So here we're going to say filter, grab the name and let's say we want to remove Johnny. We're going to say, okay, I want to keep all the names which are not Johnny. So name does not equal Johnny. Okay. I can say console.log names and also updated names here. Run the script and we get the first array, which is untouched. Okay. As opposed to the previous technique using splice, which actually modified the existing array. 
And the second one here, updated names, is everything aside from Johnny. So we're able to filter by the value instead, okay? We'll also have an added benefit of not mutating the existing array. Now, with this also, you can uh, get access to the index. You can simply provide a bracket or brackets around your, uh, your function here, then provide a second argument, the index, so i, and you could say, look, if the index is not equal to one, then also remove that item. So it's gonna give us the exact same thing, removing Johnny, and there we go, you know, that name is still gone, okay? Also keep in mind that this here is a function, so you can provide whatever logic you want in order for you to decide whether or not to remove or keep an item in the array. Especially when you have things like objects in your array and you need to get down into different properties of an object, compare values, etc. cetera. Uh, yeah, this might be the way to go about doing it. The last technique here is actually gonna be making use of two methods, uh, both pop and shift, and these allow you to remove from the end of your array or the start of it, depending on your own situation, your own circumstance, because this here it would be commonly found on server-side scripts and things like that when you're processing large amounts of data and you need to, yeah, iterate through and uh, you know get a task done for each one, whatever it might be. So again, hop down here, we're gonna say names dot, let's start with pop. So pop is gonna remove the last item, console.log and provide names here. We can see that yes, indeed, the last item, Sam, is removed from the array. Now, these also have the added benefits of returning what was removed. So does the splice method from the beginning of the video, but uh, I think this here is gonna be a little bit more commonly used because you can say const removed name equal to, and now I'm gonna log out that as well. And you can see, yes, of course, we get Sam here as your removed name. So like I was saying earlier, if you're iterating through a list of items, you may want to, of course, get, not only remove that item at the end, but also use it to do something. Now you've also got shift, which is the exact same thing, but it's gonna be for the start of the array. Save this, uh, run the script again, and now we can see that we keep Johnny, Amy, and Sam, but Dom is gone, and of course it's stored within your removed name constant. So that is your three ways to remove items from arrays in JavaScript. There are probably gonna be a few more ways to go about doing this, but I thought I'd cover probably the most common ways uh, to go about it. So that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.